Alright guys, so we're in the 17th World Tournament again. Today is going to be a status update. It is Monday. Um, as to where I'm at in the tournament, as you can see, I'm at 13,000 um, ranking. Last night before I went to bed, I was at about just over 10,000. So I know I'm going to get in the top 10,000 just because it looks like the people who are going for like the, anything top 10,000 is going to be just for the 30 million point reward. Um, if you're not aware, if you're just you know not, not really into the tournaments or anything like that, essentially I'm just going for... Uh, the top 10,000 so I can get the reward, but the 30 million is where the last mission reward is uh, in terms of trying to get points. So a lot of people are probably going to stop there just because they want the extra three Elder Kai's. Uh, at that point, I mean, I'll even show you my local. Well, that's not it. Um, I'll show you the rankings real quick. In terms of the border rankings over here, 10,000 is at 29,000 or 29 million points. So I'm just a couple million away from there. I'm definitely going to be going for... At least, I'm probably going to go for 40 million points, because right now, as you can see, the top 5 million is at um, 35 million points. So the top 5,000 is at the top 35 million points. So I should be good. I'm definitely, like I said, I will definitely want at least one of those Gohans. So that's what I'm going to be going for. My local ranking is pretty good also. I think the top two guys are going pretty ham for it. But let's see, yeah, so they're both at uh, actually 30 million points as well. So I should be good. I mean, 59 times, which means I know that they're going on a... Uh, lower difficulty than I am. I'm doing the 30 time difficulty. You know, if I actually, you know, been grinding it out like I typically did back in the day, I would definitely be up to like 100 wins at this point. But um, I'm not. I only play about maybe an hour and a half every night before I go to bed. I know that sounds like a lot. I usually just throw on a movie or some anime and I'll just let it go uh, while I'm actually playing. So that way I, you know, do this in the background while I'm like half-ass watching TV. But uh, anyway, so we're going to go with my nice team again. If you guys don't know the team I'm running, I'll go over it while I'm in the middle of playing. Um, I have a per my perfect team set up. Arale, actually, I think I'm think i thinking about taking her out of there because the 30 time multiplier, she doesn't do any damage. She doesn't even get them down to half health. So um, it's definitely time to retire her. I just haven't bothered taking her out. I'm probably going to change her out for an orb changer or something like that just because it's, I don't think it's worth it having her in there. Um, the only other one that I could probably think of having in there for... Um, for, for actual support would be Rosé outside of an Orb Changer. By the way, guys, if you don't know, um, go for all of the gold capsules. There are There's a really high chance uh, of you getting Elder Kai's. I've gotten like four, between the Supreme Kai's and Elder Kai's, I've gotten like one or one Elder, or two Elder Kai's. Or no, I'm sorry, three Elder Kai's and um, one Supreme Kai. So when I started off, I the first, uh, the first three rounds, I got two Elder Kai's. So... In terms of rounds, I mean full full playthroughs of the World Tournament. I'm not just like preliminaries, quarterfinals, semifinals. Like, it's a full round. So, yeah, that's a thing. Um, I know a lot of people will, you know, d don't want to do that because they're, they're more concerned about getting points. But those those uh, gold tablets or gold capsules are really worth it. Plus, on top of that, they give the Bulma and the Turtle Medals. Now, if you guys have, like, seen, like, watched me in the past, you'll know I have a hell of a lot of those Turtle and Bulma Medals. But that's literally because that's, that's what I do while I'm in here. Um, I just grind out those freaking capsules. As soon as I find one, I go for it and I hunt for it. Unless I'm like prelims and um, my guy's about to get attacked, I want those points. But outside of that, I usually go for the gold until they come after me or until there's nothing left. But yeah, uh, just, keeping that, just keep that in mind, guys. I want to make sure you are all aware. It, it's really a smart move to make because it's, it's very worth it. Plus, just say like you have, like I think I have like over 30 of each of those Elder Kai and Supreme Kai medals. You can go and bob them if you really want to. I think it's like 5,000 bob points per medal. So if you're like free to play and you already have enough, you have all your favorite characters dokened, um, or Z Awakened, then you can go in there and try and get some Baba, um, Baba points, so that way you can purchase a character that you may not have for that mono lead if you're looking for mono leads. Um, like for instance, the Master Roshi, the Strength Master Roshi is a free-to-play mono lead, it's like HP, Attack, and Defense plus 60%, I think it is, for the, for the Strength team. Now, it's not really that great right now, but in the future, if you guys pay attention to the, the uh, JP side, and I also did a video about that when it came out, the JP side, they all have Doken Awakenings down. Now, they are the 70% free-to-play leads with key plus 3, HP attack, and defense plus 70%. They don't have the most amazing link skill set, but they give you those buffs. So, it it's kind of worth it. So, yeah, go ahead and do that. In terms of this World Tournament, uh, man, I really wish it wasn't five days. If, if, it ended, if it ended tonight, I would be happy. I would probably grind out a little bit more, but... What can you do? Um, I'm, I'm, I am happy that I'm going to be able to get the card, or at least I should be able to get the card. So, again, we're just going to continue to play and see what happens.
The thing that sucks here is I'm not going to be able to get that other gold capsule, so I'm just going to go for a full six and get as close to the boss as I possibly can. Because I just want to take him out at this point. Um, yeah, plus it's early in the morning. It's 11.20 a.m. over here. I'm ready. I need to go into work. Just got out of the shower. I'm ready, I'm ready to hit the road. <laughs> uh, I love freaking have to be an adult every day. <laughs> all right, here we go. So we got the uh, double super attack going on. They attack all. Uh, and there's that. You know, I really would like to get another LR Broly. Well, not, not an actual LR Broly. I want the Super Saiyan Broly so that way he has someone to link with. At the same time, I want the bottom right to do path of him unlocked because I just know he becomes a beast. It's like one of those, like, mixed things. He will do more damage with his best linking buddy. At the same time, if I get his best linking buddy, that's a slot on the team that I can't use for someone else. You know, but whatever. We'll figure, I'll figure that out if I ever do happen to pull him. There we go. We are all done. That is nice. By the way, I think the 30 time multiplier in terms of health just gives you like literally a flat out 30 times boost to whatever your health is. That's why when I was saying in yesterday's video, oh, you know, it's so hard to kill these agility guys. Well, I mean, think of it. If you're going up against 100% Rosé and his attack is what, I mean, his HP is what, like 1500? Uh, I mean, 1500 times 30, that's a huge freaking number. Then this Broly isn't doing enough damage. That's probably what's going on. LR Chowder, shout out. <laughs> uh, anyway, so we're going to go up against the final round right now. Let me know down in the comments below. Uh, what you guys are going for if you're going for the card. I know a lot of you had told me that you're not going to be going for him, that it's not worth it, you're just going to be going for some of the mission rewards. Um, it, it's kind of a reoccurring, th recurring thing now with Dokkan Battle when it comes to the World Tournament. I get it, this is a grind fest. I mean, I remember the first World Tournament that I tried to grind out and tried to get everything that I possibly could. Um, I busted my butt without an AoE, and it was a pain to get 100 wins. Back in those days, you needed 100 wins in order to uh, actually you know, hit a lot of your missions. So, yeah. uh, let me tell you, I, I know the pain of the grind. So this just makes it a lot easier. Plus, because I, I'm not going ham for like the top, top placement, I just want the one card, uh, I feel like we're in a good spot. I just can't believe that no one, none of you guys want him. Like, that card is so freaking, like, he's not amazing, but he's awesome. He's a cool card to have. I, I don't know. Maybe it's also because I like Gohan. Uh, all right, there we go. We have Chiaotu, who stuns the entire team. By the way, I know I didn't go over my team. So, Chiaotu and Jocko are the two stunners, and then Arale is an AoE. She would do a lot better if she had dupe system fed into her, but she doesn't. Uh, and then Goten and uh, Majin Buu are my orb changers for Broly. Uh, and then I bring the items for orb changing for a healing, which I don't even ever use that, so I'm probably going to change that out for like a King Yemma or something. Um, a Ghost Usher, in case there's no, no way for my Broly to get off a super attack and there's no orb changers or stunners. And then, obviously, through the tree of might in case there's not a good orb alignment. Anyway, yeah, I, I'm just I'm still so freaking surprised that no one really wants that Gohan. I mean, like I said, he's not an amazing unit, but he's a good support unit. You know, on the on the hybrid Saiyan team, he's gonna do really well. I know, I know, you have other support units. You have the Trunks. You have because there is the physical Trunks who is a support unit, and then you have the Super Saiyan two. Gohan or Great Saiyan Man? One of the, I think it's the Gohan. The Super Saiyan 2 Gohan is a support unit. When he Dokken Awakens, it's attack and defense plus 35%, which is really viable too. But this guy gives key. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying you're going to re require the key, but I would prefer to take a little bit of a stat debuff for that extra key for LR Gohan. Uh, I understand he gets like two key per key orb obtained and then three key for the same attribute type key. But at the same time, if you if you're not getting the full 24 key multiplier, he's not doing his optimal damage. That extra two key can help you out. Anyway, guys, uh, that's the final result right there. Um, every time you do a 30 time multiplier, by the way, with an AOE with Broly, you're getting about 500,000 per uh, 500,000 points per uh, run. So it's very easy to move up on the 30 time multiplier. Um, I'm wondering when they're going to do 40. <laughs> Uh, anyway, guys, so yeah, I am the uh, 13,000 right now. I'm four, my top four in local ranking. As you saw, I just jumped up by two. Um, I, like I said, I plan on going to the top 10,000. And if I go further beyond the top 10,000 to maybe the top 5,000, kind of like I want to want to do that bottom right dupe path, uh, who knows? We'll see what happens. I have a whole bunch of those physical Gohans from, the, from I think there was a physical banner a long time ago. But um, yeah, guys, anyway, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new here. Make sure to punch that like button if you like what's up, what you see here. Uh, help me branch out to other people's recommended videos. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. I'll catch you guys in the comments below.